Hello, my name is Neymar, you can call me Dara. I'm a medical laboratory scientist. Recently, a tragedy happened and it just brought to the fore an important discussion that we don't have enough. And it's about ectopic pregnancy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what to know and understand about this life-threatening pregnancy complication so you can know the signs to look out and for what to do to avoid it so you can stay alive. What exactly is ectopic pregnancy? Ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy complication whereby a fertilized egg implants and grows outside the inner lining of the uterus, called endometrium. In a normal pregnancy, the egg released from the ovary is fertilized by the sperm in the fallopian tube. Then the fertilized egg travels down to the uterus, that's the womb, to implant and develop. But in ectopic pregnancy, the fertilized egg does not implant in the uterus, rather it looks for somewhere else in the body. This implantation can occur in the cervix, the ovary, or even the abdominal cavity, but it occurs mostly in the fallopian tube. And this condition is referred to as tubal pregnancy. Also, the embryo in an ectopic pregnancy cannot proceed normally to complete the nine-month term as it would die due to lack of necessary blood supply, space, and developmental support. If not detected early enough, the fallopian tube becomes strained and it can rupture, which leads to internal bleeding, shock, and even death. What are the causes? These following conditions have been linked to ectopic pregnancy. Inflammation of the fallopian tube, hormonal imbalance, genetic abnormalities, medical conditions that disorient or alter the shape of the fallopian tube. There are also predisposing factors that put a woman at risk of ectopic pregnancy, which include previous ectopic pregnancy, STDs such as gonorrhea, previous tubal surgery, abdominal surgery, or even pelvic surgery, multiple abortions, smoking, maternal age of 35 years or older, pelvic inflammatory disease, use of assisted reproductive technology, medical history of infertility. Here are the symptoms to look out for. Breast discomfort, vaginal bleeding, sudden low abdominal pain, pelvic pain or discomfort, dizziness or fatigue, or sometimes there may be no symptoms. How can it be diagnosed? Most ectopic pregnancies are detected during the first trimester of pregnancy. The doctor carries out a pregnancy test to confirm the pregnancy and the test comes out positive because the hormone Human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is produced during pregnancy, and then they proceed to check the level of the hormone. An abnormally elevated amount of the hormone is indicative of ectopic pregnancy. Occasionally, the doctor could also carry out a pelvic examination to identify the areas of pain, tenderness, or mass in the fallopian tube. The doctor could also carry out transvaginal ultrasound in order to see the exact location of the pregnancy. In rare cases, laparoscopy may be needed to confirm diagnosis. Laparoscopy is a minimally invasive surgery performed in the abdomen and pelvic area using a camera in order to examine the internal organs. Treatment options vary based on symptoms and when the ectopic pregnancy is detected. Surgical interventions such as laparoscopy or laparotomy may be required if bleeding has already occurred. And it is either the ectopic pregnancy is removed only as in salpingostomy or it is removed alongside the affected fallopian tube as in salpingectomy.